Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to a Venice game room. This is Trolley Wally for the Amstrad PC CPC. Um, the first time I come across this game was a friend had bought it in the town, and he'd asked me to come over and have a look at it. So I goes over to his house and we load it up and his, his dad sat there because his dad wants to see the game as well and it gets through all the loading and it starts coming on and we hear the music and my friend says to me I recognise that that's that Equinox by Jean-Michel Jarre and his dad sat there and his dad starts laughing and then turns around and says to him you daft bugger he didn't do that. I have this downstairs on one of my LPs. It's called Popcorn and it's by Gershon Kingsley. Don't the teacher anything at school nowadays? And <laughs> he kind of looked abashed and a bit a bit embarrassed. And yeah, we didn't have a clue what his dad was talking about, so we just started to play the game. And it's basically a maze game and it takes place inside a supermarket and what you have to do you have to run around and get all your shopping now every time you collect five items you need to take them to the checkout so you go through your your rigmarole of collecting all your little items and taking them to the checkout while you're doing this you've got a lot of different things you've got to look out for I mean you've got lots of ladders and there's mobs little enemies floating around that kill you and there's conveyor belts and slides and all these different creatures while you're doing this as I said it's fiendishly difficult but there's just something about this game that makes you go back to it. I don't know what it is. Th the difficulty level doesn't seem to put me off at all. It's it's a, a gem in the rough. I'd say it's a very nice little game. Um, the main character yourself is Trolley Wally. Um, great colour. I love the colour of the main sprite. The game itself it's nice and colourful. Uh, it does lack in-game sound, but I'm not going to fault it for that because I've played it on my Commodore 64 as well and that does have in-game sound. Um, other than that, fantastic little game. It is very difficult, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. We spent hours and hours and hours playing this game. Uh, we did eventually complete it and what we tended to do was we take turns I'd collect five items, take them to the checkout, he'd collect five items and vice versa and it was just one of those games that it well <laughs> to be honest <laughs> a lot of homework never got finished because of this game uh, it, it did get us into a bit of bother at school but the game was just so good we, we didn't really put it down um, like I said it's it's very challenging it's it's a lot of fun and I, I can't really recommend this game enough to be honest it's one of those games that really 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 convinces me that I need to buy an Amstrad there's a few games like this that are really enjoyable but at the moment it's it's a case of I think everybody's in the same boat with the economy the way it is it's bills have to come first and things as much as I'd like to to go out and buy an Amstrad and buy this game it, it's it's not going to happen at the moment um, we're currently putting away a little bit of money for a video camera uh, I want to be able to film some of my older computers and things 
and the missus obviously she wants to be able to use the camera as well uh, she'd like to be able to film a niece and nephew and just use it for other general purpose stuff so she's agreed that we're going to get out, get ourselves safe up and get ourselves a camera um, once that happens obviously I'm, I'm going to start putting videos up of my hardware and the game's running properly but obviously until then I'm going to have to be stuck with emulation unfortunately but like I said I, I can't fault the game it is difficult but it's, it's a lot of fun it looks great it plays great I'd say it's a sort of it is a puzzle game it is a maze game but y you need to plan th plan ahead basically in this game decide what items you're going to get first I mean we didn't we did end up drawing a map for this and where all the items were and we actually worked out what routes we were going to take and we had it all planned out and then basically we ended up completing it and it's just an amazing little game um, as I said I'd definitely buy this if money was okay at the moment um, yeah I can't really recommend this enough to be honest uh, if you do have the money to get it and you do have an Amstrad and you don't have this I'd say go for it you won't be disappointed at all uh, it'll probably take you a while to get into it I mean it's not an easy game but it's just wonderful at the end of the day um, <laughs> as I said I don't have I can't praise this game enough I have a, a lot of very good memories with this game uh, it got me through a lot of uh, nights with my friend and we played this for weeks before we completed it so yeah it's going to last if, you, if you're going to buy it and I think that's about all I have to, to say for this for now. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.